and welcome back to another action figure review. This time the subject is a horror movie figure. We are looking at the subspecies Radu Vampire from Full Moon Toys. And here we have Radu inside the packaging along with his demon minion and the bloodstone. And on the back of the box some pictures of the figure and some of the other figures available from Full Moon Toys and the Full Moon Movies. And I'm going to review the cast of Freaks sometime very soon as well. But here we have Radu outside the box. A very cool looking figure with real hair and clothes as well and long fingernails. Looking like He's supposed to from one of the four subspecies movies. And here we have a size comparison next to the Neckhead Ghostface on the left and Mr. Hyde from the Silent Screamers series. And they fit perfectly in scale. We also have the Phantom of the Opera from Diamond Select and then a regular 7-inch figure Ash from Mecha on the right. So Radu and the other figures here are more close to 8 inches. The figure comes with this display base with packs in it and then as mentioned before the red demonic minion Radu can break off his own fingers and then they will grow into these small minions. It's actually not articulated even though you can move the arms just a little bit. And then the very important item from the movies, the Bloodstone itself, here in a very nice representation. So if we look at the details, especially from this side here, I think this figure captures the likeness of actor Anders Holby pretty well. From the front side here it's not that good, but still it's a gross and evil and sinister looking vampire. Underneath the jacket here we have a sculpted suit and pants as well. The fingernails here I would have liked maybe a little more color on the nails. Maybe they could have been more dirty as it is now. They are white just as the fingers and then we have a pair of very nicely polished shoes. Nothing really on the back here. And articulation, well, not that much. Radu can turn the head from side to side, but that's it. And then he can raise his arms and they bend at the elbow, but only in one direction. So you can bend them up and that's it. And there is rotation at the wrist. And the same goes for the other arm here as well can move up and bend at the elbow in one direction. And then we have a very, very limited leg articulation. You can wiggle around with the legs here to make the figure stand, but I would recommend to use the peg holes here at the bottom and make the figure stand on his display base. So very limited articulation. Much like the Silent Screamers figures. So for now I'll leave you with my opinion about Radu. So if you're into horror cult classic movies like Subspecies here and you like the Silent Screamers figures then I would definitely recommend to check out Radu. There are three or four different versions of the figure, not that different but with small differences. 
Much like the silent screamers, the articulation is very limited, but you can still get some great shots of this figure, and I just think Radu is pretty cool. Thanks a lot for watching this review. Leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.